Welcome to this week's Chinook News! Alright, good morning Chinooks! Happy Spirit Week! We are recording this on Wednesday, so as you can see, it's Western Wednesday. Woo! Alright, we have so many exciting things to do our way. Uh, first off, tonight is the big football game. Let's do that. Let's go Rangers! Go Rangers! So, Thursday night homecoming game, we hope to see you there. Um, coming up for our school, uh, we had the Jugathon last week and we are going to have those results coming out to you. Your money is due back to your teacher here at school by the 13th. So start circling up the people who made pledges for you and collecting that money. Jogathon was really, really fun and we have a lot of pictures. So check out some of these pictures as well of our students running that Jogathon. <laughs> Anderson, we also have our family breakfast that we're bringing back to CRE. I'm excited about that. Me too, and I have had some people ask, is this only for third, fourth, and fifth? This time it is, but we do have a family breakfast for uh, kindergarten, first and second coming up later in the school year. So check your calendar for that. If you are planning to attend, please get on to your hometown fam and make sure that you have a ticket reserved for each guest. We are sending every student, so we do not need you to get a ticket for your student, just whoever is a guest here at school. And that is happening on October 12th, which is Wednesday, so we look forward to seeing all of our families and students enjoying a yummy breakfast. Yeah, and right after that, we have another read day. So if you got an invitation, it was for October 14th. Um, we'll look forward to seeing those of you who were invited here on campus. Every week we have about 15 more kids that come, so we're excited to see you all there. And Ms. Anderson, we also have our PTO meeting on October 19th. So we're looking for families to help join in on all that fun and help our planning success for our school. Yeah, it'll be here at the school at 5.30. We're also gonna offer a virtual option. If you need the virtual option, please email me so I can make sure that you're on that invitation. And lastly for our updates, we have our Fall Family Night, which is on October 27th from 5 p.m. to 7. Again, you will also need to register on Hometown Fan um, to make sure that you have all of your guest lists of who you're going to be bringing on that night. And the teachers are putting in a lot of hard work and planning to make it really fun for everybody. So please register and we hope to see you there. Yeah, a couple fun things. You get to decorate and bring a pumpkin of your favorite storybook character. And you also will have games that you can do in the different pods of our building. And dinner. Dinner. And if your family celebrates Halloween, or if you just want to dress up for fun, that's your time to wear a costume here to CRE. So we are looking forward to all of those things on October 27th. We've got about a month to plan for it. Yes, a we less. do. So we're looking forward to that. All right, Miss Anderson, we have our trivia, and I'm trivia, and I'm tracking our participation, and I'm also tracking to see the correct responses, who has the right answer. So with old trivia from last week, we have our K through two trivia, which was writing from one to 10. Okay. Let's see. All right. And I have Miss Alenia in this over class. And if I look at this every single number, it looks like she started from the top and went down. I also see that she 
um, did a great job of finishing her circles and making sure all of her numbers were going in the right direction. Excellent job, Alenia. You can come down and get your prize when your teacher says it's okay. And then our next trivia for three through five, that story problem. What do we have in there? What was that question? It is Cole and Bryson went to video game land. Sounds fun. Cole won 152 tickets and Bryson won 84 tickets. They want to put their tickets together. There's a clue. Put them Anywhere. together. To get a large toy robot that costs 300 tickets. How many more tickets do they need? All right, so if I put 152 tickets with 84, then I am going to get 236. And since that number is less than 300, I can subtract. You need more tickets, right? Yeah. 300 minus 236. And that means I need 64 more tickets. So, excellent job to Brett Lee in fourth grade. A lot of these we saw kiddos who got the addition right, but then tried to subtract 300 from 236. It does not work. You have to start with what you have as a total and then take away what you don't need. So, again, our answer, 64 tickets this time. Thanks, Brett Lee. And when your teacher says it's okay, you can come down and get your prize. All right, we have our new trivia for this week for this week. So K through two, uh, you're gonna be doing some finger counting and number writing. So on our piece of paper, we have a hand that's up with so many fingers that are up, and we have a number for you to circle and then writing the number. So you have one, two, three, four, I say problems to solve. Turn that in once you get it done. And then for our three through five, we have another story problem. Clackamas River Elementary School has 124 first graders and 130 second graders. On Thursday, 12 first graders and nine second graders were absent. How many first and second graders were in school on Thursday? Mm, there's some clues. Sounds like there's some clues in there. Also sounds like there might be more than one way to solve that one. So yeah. hopefully you can read the details, take your time and make sure you're answering the right question. And even maybe double check to see, yeah. did you get the right answer? Let's see how you do on that double checking. Okay, sounds great. And something really excited about October is that here at Clackamas River, it is also Socktober. So Mr. Wolf, how many socks have we collected so far? Wow, so yesterday we had 16, mm -hmm. but I went back today and counted we have 62 socks. Wow, that's a lot of socks. And just thinking about socks, and I was also thinking about Mr. Searing during this time, because I know that he loves his jokes. So here's a joke for you all. What do you call a bear with no socks? What do you think, Miss Anderson? No idea. Barefoot. <laughs> Keep that one, take it home, tell your parents what you learned today. All right, moving on from that, we have our golden plunger and our golden tray. And it looks like our golden plunger this week goes to... Fourth and fifth grade girls. Nice job, way to bring that trophy back down the hall from the kindergarten first grade. And what about our golden tray? Wow, golden tray goes to our fifth graders, all fifth graders. Excellent. Way to step it up, guys. That's awesome. We love to see that plunger travel back and forth. So, congratulations. Uh, next up, we have birthdays. Happy birthday to you. Okay, so I'm going to take it for the student birthdays. We have Anthony in Miss French's room, Ruby in Miss Oberg's, Maurice in Miss Weller, Braxton in Miss French, Lennon. In Miss Rutherford's, Blake in Miss Adams, Savannah in Miss O'Connor's, Riley in Miss Cressick, and last but not least, we have Miss Lexi Jean in Miss O'Connor's class. So happy birthday to you! And we also have some staff birthdays approaching. We have Mrs. Munn's birthday on October 6th, which is today. Hooray! 
And we also have Miss Anderson's birthday on October 10th that we're gonna be celebrating. So happy, happy birthday to all of our birthdays here on staff. We appreciate you. Thank you, Mr. Wolf. It is time to stand. Put your hand over your heart for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And we hope that you guys all have a fantastic weekend. It looks like it's going to be another sunny one, so enjoy some time outside with friends and family. We'll look forward to seeing you on Monday.